Did I get it? Come on, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Could this be the answer to all your solo filmmaking problems? Possibly? You see, this is the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. Now, I could just do a normal generic review and give you a bunch of specs of this thing, or I could show you how to level up your solo filmmaking by using this. However, just because I kind of have to, you need a little bit of information at least, I'm going to give you a couple of the specs of this thing. So, this has the twist lock legs. Then you've got this little hook in between the legs so that if you are standing your tripod on very uneven surfaces, you can actually hook a bag of weight or anything, just a bag of a bag of weight what is a bag of weight wow flip over to the other side and you've got this little tab never seen this on a tripod before i got this one this is actually an extension arm piece so if you want to add a monitor or a mic or something like that you can buy another manfrotto piece that screws straight into here and then you can mount your monitor just off to the side which i thought was really cool then while we're down here talking about the legs this is the least wide they'll go pull this little tab at the top and it'll extend again pull it again and it'll extend again so it goes completely flat i really like that the tab is on the side of the leg on this one simply because the last tripod i had it was on the front so you put your hand around it like that and pulled the tab and slid it back in and you just ended up smashing your hand onto this piece here and chewing all your fingers up so much prefer that it's on the side and you've got a little bit more control over where it goes so that's nice now let's move on to the ball head so there's a few things to talk about with the ball head of this one before we get out and actually use the tripod the first thing would be this tiny little dial this is the smallest dial now you undo this and that gives you your pivot you can twist it that's the twisting motion everything's nice and textured so that if you were wearing gloves if it's cold you can grip hold of these that's always a big thing for me that things are nice and chunky and easy to use moving up you've got the bigger twist lock on the side now this confused me when i first took it out of the box i didn't understand how this works i've never seen this before so what you do is you twist the outside so that you can release the ball head and move it around you can notice that it's still pretty stiff even though i fully loosened it off well that's because this little dial on the inside is the tension loosen it off and it's very fluid tighten it up it's very stiff now that's better for just moving your camera those tiny little notches and getting those minute movements for your shot very good design i had no idea that that was a thing and now it's here i can't stop using it also, it's nice to play with as well. It just spins really nice. It's like a fidget spinner. Now, the actual mounting piece itself. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like it when I first got it. Drop the plate in and it snaps together and locks into position. You just snap it in and then when you're ready to take it off, you snap it off. Now, for me, it's always been Swiss Arca plates that you just use a little dial and just tighten it up. And that's great. And I love the speed and I love how fast it is to put things on the top of the tripod. Love it. Don't get me wrong. However, the mount that fits this also fits everything else that's Swiss Arca, but everything else that Swiss Arca does not fit this, which makes no sense to me. It's like black magic. It makes no sense. However, it's not made that much of an impact because I can still use the mount from this on everything else like my PGY Tech tripod and, you know, all the other stuff that I use, my overhead rig and things like that. So that's not a problem. Now that you've got all the information that you need about the tripod, let's go and see how it stands up in the real world. Where can you use it? How tall does it stand? What does it weigh? Is it easy to carry? Let's find out. Nomatic have been extremely kind to me. You know, the company that makes all the PM bags and things like that. Yeah, they've been very kind to me and sent me a Navigator 37 litre roller case because I'm going to be taking a trip fairly soon. Now, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you where the tripod would come in handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the train station. We're going to set the tripod up. We're going to stand on the platform. We're going to wait for a train to come, which is in about an hour and a half and it's only 10 minutes away from a house. So the plan is to set the tripod up and get a long exposure of the train going by with me stood directly in the center frame with the bag. How do I say this without being disrespectful? Friends are unreliable. You can call as many of them as you want, but you can guarantee that it, when it's for something helping you out with filming, they're going to be busy. Hello? Uh, no, I'm busy. I can't help you film. Sorry. What am I doing? Um... What's with all the questions? Leave me alone. It's me. I'm one of those people. How I have just made it here on time, I have no idea. I've got like 10 minutes to spare. And I've still got to set up and everything yet. This is ridiculous. I've still got the tags on this bag. <laughs> still got the paper inside the bag from when it got delivered. Okay, tell you what, hold on. Let me put the camera down. 
Oh my God, guess who's just now realizing? You remember earlier when I talked about the Swiss Arca plate thing that Swiss Arcas don't fit on this, yet the plate fits on all other Swiss Arcas? Yeah, I forgot the plate that goes on this, so now I've got to go back home and get the plate. Oh, that's my fault, that is my fault, that is my fault. Just me rushing and being stupid. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna do it I know where it is, it's there, it's there, on this camera. Let's go. Ah, forget me car keys. So I did miss the train, but there's another one on platform two in another 20 minutes. So at least I've got a little bit longer to set up. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. What a... I think I've landed extremely fortunate at the fact that there's going to be another train in like 15, 20 minutes. This is the right plate that you need for this because it just snaps on, done like that. Well, personally for me, I'm about 5'10", something like that. I'm not the tallest of people. Now with these legs fully extended, it doesn't quite get my head in line. It's like more where my chin is, more my neck, not anywhere near my eye line. I would have personally preferred maybe one more leg extension, just one more. Here's a quick pro tip for when you're shooting on a tripod. If your lens has image stabilization, make sure you turn it off, because if you're going to shoot long exposures, the image stabilization in the lens will start to move around and make everything look more blurry than it needs to be. Always turn your image stabilization off when you're on a tripod. So let me explain the shot that I'm looking for. Basically, I'm looking for a long exposure of a train going by, which is not great because the sun's just come out and now it's gonna be really hard to get a long exposure. It'll be cool when it's done. Why are trains such a horrible color? Why is it maroon? It's such a horrible color. Maybe five minutes to get this, well, not even five minutes. They don't stick around very long. Few moments later. Did I get it? Come on, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I... See, to do that, I used the remote function on my phone, kept my phone in my hand and kept pressing the shutter button while I was over there. Hopefully, it's registered, and obviously I wasn't looking at the phone, so hopefully I wasn't just mashing the autofocus button <laughs> and actually not taking any photos, so... Let's see how it turned out. For those of you wondering about the bag, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see a video about this. Everybody just buys the Peter McKinnon stuff from Nomadic. That's all I ever see. What about all the other stuff that they do? Also, by the way, when I was talking about this tripod having the twist locks and why that's a better option, trust me, you'll see why now. Unlock, unlock, slide, lock. Quick as that. And then you get good at it. Unlock, unlock, slide, unlock, unlock, slide. Okay, let's get home and take a look at the photos, because that's why we're here. Did the tripod do its job? Okay, so let's see if we actually got the shot. Please, please, please don't tell me I forgot the plate, got all the way back, actually got on the platform, a train came and didn't get the shot. Don't tell me that. Mm, that don't look very blurry. Oh. oh, get in, we got the shot, let's go. Independent photographer right here. So in conclusion, is this thing actually worth your time? Being able to film on your own and having that independency is just absolutely priceless for me. And then not only that, this tripod has so many things that makes it future-proof. So right now you might not have a monitor, but in the future you might want to start making videos like this and have an offset monitor and having little things like this where you can mount it just makes it future-proof. All in all, it's a fantastic product. Tripods are always something that people overlook and I think this is a great one. Now, if you're the sort of person that's a little bit more handheld, a little bit more vloggy, a little bit more raw, then this video is for you and I'll see you there. Sibby.